Welcome to the TPC interview with Mark Dotson and Felix Silla. Um, Dotson, best known for the Gremlin Voices and Salacious Crumb. Yeah. Felix with Cousin It and Tawiki and Ewoks and just a whole a line of stuff. What else, Felix? Nothing else. Nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> Planet of the Apes. Planet of the Apes. Planet of the Apes. Oh, yeah. So I guess we'll, we'll get right into it with Return of the Jedi. Both of you guys were in Return of the Jedi. How was it working with just the director and Harrison Ford and just, I mean, just like, did you think the movie was going to be as big as it was? You know, it was what, the third installment? Fourth installment? Oh, third. Yeah. It was the third. Third installment. So uh, for me, I didn't work with those guys because right. I'm the boys. You're the boys. Felix gets, he's on set with all those guys. Uh, uh, for me, I, you know, I was in the sound studio with mm -hmm. Ben Burt for about a half hour and did the laugh. It was great. It was fun. You know, I didn't know exactly what it was, what the creature was going to be. It was described to me. I hadn't seen it. Um, what was the other part of the question? Did you work, 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 work with the, yeah. Work, yeah. yeah with the Lucas. I, I mean, I was so, Lucas. I was out there, I was working out at Skywalker Ranch as a carpenter. Wow. When I got that, hmm. it got around that I did voice. I was trying to get into production. So, um, oh, I know you asked, did we th think it would be as big as it was? No, okay. not, not last forever. It, right, every one of them was, and since I was in house for like three years, every movie that got made, it was just always like, oh, will this, it was the, you know, will this be the big movie of the summer? Mm -hmm. You know, will this be the big one of the summer? We didn't think about, will this still be going 30 years from now, 35 years from now, it's 36 years. Well, you know, in other words, you just do your job so, and you can have a bunch of astronauts to follow where Adam's family, for yeah. example. Yeah. Uh, 40 years later, 45 years later, people are still talking about it, you know. When I wasn't doing the, you know, the job, I don't yeah. know anything about it. I did my work, went home, I left everything at the studio. Yeah. I didn't think of what's going to happen. 40 years later. Well, you, you know, about we're it. like no, anybody no. in anybody with a job. We're thinking we're, we're done with that job and going, okay, what am I going to do next? Right. You know, we're moving on. Yeah, we're, the we're done. The ring. You, know? you know, and then waiting for it to come out and see how right. well it's accepted and get to see it ourselves, get to go see how well it, it, it turned out. But no, nobody thought. You know, for we knew example, it was doing good, for example, but, you know, when we did the, the Return of Jedi, we filmed so much. We filmed so much stuff. When I saw the film, I said, where the hell am I? You know, what happened? <laughs> where did what it all go? What happened to scene? What happened to this? What happened to that? And it's all gone. I, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's somewhere up there in the can. You know, they keep it. But it wasn't there. You yeah. Know? We yeah. filmed it so much, we just do a little bit. So if you blink your eyes, you miss it. How was it for you working with George Lucas on the film? I, 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 you know what? I never got to see George that much. I saw him a few times when we were doing Indiana Jones in mm -hmm. London. Mm -hmm. uh, George is kind of, you know, on the side. Like, mm -hmm. if you want to talk business, like money, whatever, you know, he's these he's, days, the money guy. But, right. but when he's doing the film, he's never, not much sure. okay. there. Yeah, mostly you get to see, like, uh, Spielberg, who right. did the director. Okay. And uh, I got to work with, you know, Kerry, Kerry Fisher, and, yeah. and, you know, all of them, you know, we, we were dead together. Yeah. And, uh, Return of Jedi was great because I got to meet all the guys from England, you know, like Kenny Baker and the rest of the guys, and it was fun. So we were, I really enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. So, Cousin It, Adam Stanley, big iconic TV show. Um, how hot was that suit for Cousin It? I mean, I that, know, it was so hot. It wasn't, it wasn't hot at all. You know what I tell them? It people? wasn't? No. You know what? I, oh, the first costume was very hot and humid and okay. very heavy. The reason it was because it was real human hair. Wigs. The first, wow. Oh my God, he put it on, five minutes later, it's as cute as me, but I cannot, I'm going to pass out. Um, you start sweating. Real human hair. Very heavy. Wow. So then they got, they figured out, they, they said, this is a very flammable. He said, can you imagine the way this, oh, yeah. the way you, you know, the way you, you work and the yeah. crew, they smoke. Yeah, everybody they knows. They go get a cup of coffee, throw a cigarette, they snap yeah. part, it's in the direction. Can you imagine if somebody throws a cigarette in the floor, steps and it and misses it? And Felix walks right by with like a little broom, sweeping the floor. He was up in the plane. Mm -hmm. No real human hair. That's why they change it. So what do they change it to? To synthetic, you know, which okay. is a lot lighter. I could keep it longer. Mm -hmm. You know, I could wear it a little longer than the right of the other one. Yeah, but it wasn't that bad. You know, I tell the people, well, if it's hot, stay out of the kitchen. 
Right? right. Yeah. You know. Yeah, cousin it stays out of the kitchen. You want me doing? <laughs> it's all like cousin it. I'm gonna go up the fireplace. <laughs> so, everybody argues that Gremlins is a Christmas movie. You're not a Christmas movie. You were in both films. Mm -hmm. What do you think it is? Gremlins One is a Christmas movie. Got the boom. Okay. Uh, the mug. I, I know that's been a thing going around. <laughs> I mean, it's it opens with uh, Darlene loves Christmas baby, please come home, yep. uh, and they're buying a Christmas tree, mm -hmm. and the Mugwai is a Christmas present to Billy Peltzer from his dad, from Hoyt Axton, of course. Um, I consider it a Christmas movie. There you go. But here's why some people say it isn't because they say, yeah, but it didn't have to be Christmas. But it was. Okay, it didn't have to be. It was. But it was, so that makes it a Christmas movie. So, yes, it's a, of course it's a Christmas Oh, and we went caroling to Mrs. Deagle's house. That's a Christmas We're singing the Christmas. I just, I wanted to hear from yeah. the man himself. Yeah. yeah, it's a Christmas movie. Tweaky. Oh, the, Mark Rogers. Yeah. Mark Rogers. Oh 40th year anniversary this year. This year, yeah. 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 How, how did you enjoy on the set? And you did it for what? Three seasons? Two seasons? No, I think like two and a half, one and a half, I think. Okay. Yeah. But, but it exploded to be. The it was two before his time. Yes, the first year was really good, but it was too expensive. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, it cost a million dollars per episode. Wow. In 1979. Wow. So that's why. A million per episode. It, yeah. Wow. Per episode. Well, was he was 500,000 in episode. Yeah, that makes sense. He's so. Just go full of like 500,000. Oh, shit, man. No, no. It, uh, they, they changed. The second year, they really ruined it. They changed the producer. The guy from Gunsmoke, John Mentley. Yeah. He was a producer from Gunsmoke, and then he got from. Uh, Western to sci fi. Can you imagine? Oh, what a change. Right. So they got rid of Tim O'Connor as a, one of the actors. Okay. They never told them the, why they, they never brought him back. Then they brought in Barbara Rooner, they brought in Tom uh, Christopher Hawk, whatever, and they screwed him up the whole thing. Second year, just they wasn't there. They don't know what to do with it. Yeah. Gil kept telling the producer, another producer, the people at the NBC said, not to do this. They don't know which way to go. If they should go towards adults or towards kids. Mm -hmm. They didn't know what they were doing. Yeah. And that's why they dropped it. Also, the technology, what we did that those years, compared to mm -hmm. what they have now, it took to do one scene, it took one day. To like the movement of the ship, one day. Because they didn't have the technology right, we right. have now. Right. You know, if the technology was there, like Star Wars, I mean, that show probably still be on. Yeah, I, th I do think it was before yeah. his time. It was, a great, it was a great show. You know, I really loved it. So. Guys, we got to get to this autograph signing. Yeah, Felix, I think I we should. Let's Thank go, you so much. Let's go make some money. Lucas, <laughs> yeah. appreciate it, Mark. All right. Thanks, guys.